Another creature which spends all its life at the pole is the seal. This seal pup was born last week. It has to stay above the water until it learns to swim. At this time, its fur is white, allowing it to camouflage and conceal itself. As it grows, its fur will become darker. A 10 centimeter thick layer of fat immediately beneath the fur is sufficient to protect it from the cold. This defenseless looking pup is protected from enemies by the color of its fur and from the cold by its layer of fat. Like other land-dwelling animals, seals need to breathe. Yet they are also expert in lengthy deep sea diving. They owe these characteristics to the biochemical structure in their blood. Physiologically, diving deep with the lungs full of air gives rise to the bends. The nature of the seal's red blood cells, however, possesses a design allowing it to store oxygen in large quantities. Thus, the seal does not dive with air in its lungs, but carries the oxygen it needs dissolved in its blood. Since it does not hold air in its lungs, it can easily dive down to great depths. Research has shown that seal blood has the highest oxygen bearing capacity. In this way, seals can spend around an hour underwater in a single dive. Trained divers, on the other hand, can spend no longer than four minutes at these depths without oxygen bottles. All this information reveals one clear fact. The seal cannot have developed this property of its blood by itself. It cannot have come up with such a solution by evaluating the harmful effects of water pressure on its body. Neither can this solution be the work of chance, as the theory of evolution would have us believe. There is no doubt that this matchless feature of the seal is the work of a creator possessed of all knowledge. The Almighty God created the seal together with all the physical attributes that allow it to hunt with ease. Seals feed on fish, squid, and most of all, on krill. There is also an order in this food chain. Algae are the most basic source of food underwater. They store solar energy by means of photosynthesis. Krill eat the algae and thus acquire this energy produced by photosynthesis. Seals, whales, and other fish feed on krill and thus take on that same solar energy. The waters around the North Pole are dark during the six months of darkness. So how are seals able to hunt in darkness, in deep water? Seals find their prey not by using their eyes, but by following the traces it leaves in the water. These traces are invisible to the naked eye and are hydrodynamic waves caused by the prey's movement through the water. The seal catches its prey solely by following these traces. Thanks to this ability, seals have no difficulty in finding their prey in dark or swirling water. Each one of the seal's features is the product of a superior design. The Almighty God has created the seal with the best abilities and physical characteristics for its environment. How many creatures do not carry their provisions with them? God provides for them, and He will for you. He is the all-hearing, the all-knowing.
The seal is a mammal. It needs to breathe in order to survive. It therefore looks for an escape hole out of the ice. If it cannot find one, it has to make one. This is where its long teeth come in useful. With these teeth it can gnaw away at the ice and break through it to the air. The lovable seal has been designed and created to live in a habitat which is covered in ice. Thanks to the properties they possess, seals can easily find food, protect themselves from danger, and meet all their needs.